We're going to a bed and breakfast. Bad call. Old people. Who quaint? What's the latest on you fixing my sink? The part is coming in from Tempe, Arizona. Well, let me know when it's in Venice, California. Amanda P plays Alex. She's a um, recently divorced mother. Ex-husband's in jail, she's got a 10-year-old kid, and she decides, you know, I want a fresh start. I'm gonna move to Venice, California. So she buys this kind of rundown house, then she needs someone to fix it up. You forgot to mention that I'm dating <clears throat> a surgeon. Ah, uh, yes. I don't like to talk about that. It's interesting that you forgot. Um, I'm sort of in that once bitten, twice shy um, sort of space where I don't want to take a lot of risks. I'm trying to keep everything together. And then David Walton walks in my door and I hire him to be my contractor. And he's a motorcycle riding, pot smoking, womanizing bad boy. You live with your dad and you hump anything in a tiny bikini to justify the boy that is your life. Wow, you had that locked and loaded. You think about me much? Why are you cocky? Is there some universe where 35 and constantly baked is cool? Yeah, Venice. We talked a lot about um, the immense rift between our lifestyles and the sort of on a superficial level, there is just zero compatibility here but there is a lot of sizzle, and so it sort of falls into that sort of category of romantic comedies where we, at least for my part, I can't stand the fact that I'm attracted to him, and so I'm just fighting it and fighting it and fighting it and um, fighting with him and, and trying to push it away. Hi. Hey, son. Um, listen, this is a little embarrassing, but uh, I'm a little short on scratch. I need a little walking around money. Traditionally, the father gives the son allowance. You know, Terry totally screwed me on my Terry shift. You do have a great ensemble cast. Talk about them. Oh my God, where do we start? First you have like a Russian and they cast this guy Pasha who truly has never not played a villain. And now he's playing a plumber, like a lighthearted <laughs> plumber. Um, and then, J.B. Smoove, who from Curb Your Enthusiasm, who's Larry David's friend, is a one of a kind. I mean, truly cannot get a funnier person, but an energy that I've never seen before, literally like a hurricane. He just opens his mouth and it's yeah. pretty much automatically funny. Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty incredible. And Tambor is the same way, I feel like he's too funny. He's an exceptional man who can literally say anything to anybody right when they meet him that is awful, like truly yeah. mean. And they'll just be like, <laughs> oh, you're the best. Lynn's coming over later. We're going to do some sense memory work. Is that what you're calling it? Yes, it is. What's our contraception situation? Uncomfortable. Yeah. Awkward. Separate. I'm going to need a ride to save on. Whoa, safety meeting. You are on fire. Thank you. Man, your legs look. That's cute. enough. We don't want to be soft and cloying as a show. We want no. to be um, we want to be sexy mm -hmm. and romantic. And but not too like a romantic, but a romantic that a guy like a guy's guy is gonna like. Mm. And and you'll see that like it's never too. We're not sappy. soft. There's no something soft. There's uh, and there's a lot of guy humor, frankly, in this as well as stuff that I think. You know, women will be naturally drawn to, which is the dance of, you which know, will they or won't they? The dance, the waltz. Yes.